Hello everybody, time again to tie yet another fly. Today I'm gonna show, uh, I have chosen, sorry, a pattern I never tied before. It's a tawny dyke, not a torn dyke, but tawny dyke, uh, hardy pattern. So uh, that's gonna be today's challenge. So let's begin. Glasses on, so I see what I'm doing, uh, and let's start tying. Uh, first of all, oval silver tinsel. I'm using extra small. The, this uh, fly is going to be beast. I'm tying on a, a large hook. It's a 7 0. It's a great pattern to tie large uh, for a frame. Similar. But it would be nice to tie a small one for fishing as well, so I might do that later. So, a few wraps of tinsel. I'm using extra small uh, silver, oval silver tinsel. I think I'm gonna go with four wraps due to the fact it's a large hook. It's gonna be wool body anyhow, not seal fur, not pigs uh, wool, uh, I'm gonna use different wool, that one. Nice and tight, looks good. Then we have, um, I think it's blue, yes, blue silk down to here somewhere. That's a good point. So, yeah, it's gonna build up a bit with the thread. Silk to the table, so we'll go and get it. There we are. So take it quite a big piece piece out. Just a bit somewhere there. Now it's secured. Just cutting the leftovers. And then we have this silk. Let me untwist it. the silk to build up a bit I 
Let's go back with the thread, securing the silk, tie in a bit of silk as well. Tangled. So I'm just gonna even out. Almost there. I prepare the tail as always. Let me see how that sits. Looks good. Maybe I should just bump it a bit. Lower. Don't want it to be too high. There we are. Going backwards again. Then I have these feathers that should be added. Ibis and guinea fall. I'm using Vulturin guinea fall, and instead of Ibis, I use Swan. thread a little bit at first. I want to make sure it goes a bit more up like that. Otherwise it's gonna pu push on the, the tail. the thread again then it's Kutinga 
for shatter by using pita as a substitute. Removing that one, then it's the butt. That's blue wood. Step, and that is to add the tin cells. Just need to have a look at the pattern description. I think it's all the way on the hacker. Not sure. I'm gonna go with the second turn of the tin cell. Flat tin cell, waxing again. Adding flat tin cell. Moving that away, mission and done. So, red wool. Maybe I go with pig's wool. Hmm, instead of this one. But yeah, I started with this one, so let's just continue. Interesting to see when finished. 
few different elements in the body. <clears throat> mm. I just realized I forgot to add the hackle. <laughs> That's a good one. Grateful I noticed that, otherwise uh, you guys would have wondered what I was uh, doing. It's easy when you're doing videos to car get carried away and just uh, yeah, for, for good, forget steps. Since you don't want to have a, a tying movie that is uh, three hours long, yeah? So then you need to speed up things. sure if I like this wool or not. Uh, the end will tell. Speed on with the wool. in a hacking so I just remove that one this is the wool I normally use to the wool head and butts but yeah I wanted to try it for the body as well I think it will look better when the hackle is on. So 
So we're getting there. Baby stamps. Let's let's do this. So silver tin self flat. Six wraps, something. Let me remove that one. Then we have the twist. Following behind the silver tinsel. Waxing a bit. Make sure everything stays accordingly. Waxing the thread before taking on the hackle. So the hackle will follow behind. Tinsel. Thing. There we are. From tackle, in this case. Blue again. So I'm just gonna see where where I have the length. I'm gonna tie in quite a lot of it. That's why I left some room 
in the front. Okay. Pulling it backwards. Almost there. And there we are. And we have sufficient room for everything else. And it's gonna have a bull head and it's a big hook. So I'm gonna make quite a, a big head. Nice flow in the hackle. Just dividing it up like this. So I easily can add the tippet or tippets. So now I need to look for those, but as well, it's gonna be, uh, I think it's, um, yeah, it's blue, scarlet, and yellow cock hackle, back to back in the middle. And then on top of that, it's uh, two pair of tippets. So I'm gonna look for those, and uh, then we start the video again. Let's try to mount these ones. It's okay if they are pointing up a bit. That wasn't straight. So I'm gonna change that. Since the tippet is going on top uh, on the sides, it's quite okay if they are pointing up, so they don't get pre pressed down too much. There we are. First set on. Then we're gonna have red and then yellow. So let's pick a few reds out. Let's continue to work on the sides. So first red cock. Touch on my side. Looks 
looks good. <coughs> Sorry. Just pulling down the front tack a little bit. The next step is a yellow hacker. Let's prepare. So I'm just fixing the thread. Doing my side first. Good. Adding more wax. And let's do this side then. Did turn a bit, not what I wanted. So let's realign it. Now it looks much better. Six pop hackles on top of it that will uh, make the middle wing, so to say. Then we have two pairs of tippet feathers. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how that looks. But I'm going to varnish and then continue a bit later just to let it dry a bit but it's a nice blend of colors so tip of time uh, i'm gonna start with the one on your side just gonna have a look it's centered So, opposite side. bit this feather Oh, 
and straight down. So I'm gonna varnish, wait a bit, and then add another pair. Last pair of tippets um, to apply. I did my side already, so it's just the opposite side. So next step would be bury the wood duck on the sides, uh, big uh, yeah, half a wing so to say, you will see, bury the wood ducks. So I did my side, so let's do the opposite side. I'm just gonna varnish a bit and then we're gonna put on two toppings. Uh, I think I will do two toppings. And uh, we're gonna see. Uh, since it's a large hook, I think uh, that will be sufficient. Prepare this one to start with, and uh, I have another one after. Missing. Some more bags on the thread. I think I'm gonna mount the second topping immediately. Both toppings have red tips in the end here, so I think it's gonna look nice. So let me see if I can mount it properly. with it. Need to put it higher or further back the time point. Uh, 
there we are. Now I'm pleased. Something like that. So then it's just time for the horns. So time for the horns. I did my side. Save time. It's gonna add this one. There we are. Just need to adjust it. Topping. Look equal in length. Not bad at all. So we're gonna finish off with the herd head. It's gonna wax the thread. Not hurl head, it's bull head on this one, sorry. My bad. Lucky me, I don't have any hurl on the table. <laughs> so, black wool. See how much I need. So I'm just gonna have a look so, so I cover everything. Oops. Of course. Doesn't look good. Now we got it. I'm just gonna do secure the thread here. Just cutting a few long fibers there. It seems that the fly is ready. So that's how you tie the tourney dike. Uh, nice pattern, lovely colors. Yeah. I like it. The fly is ready. Tawny dike. Um, interesting uh, pattern for sure. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm gonna do a few more that I'm gonna post in the future. So you get the video each week when I'm in Thailand. So you get uh, the flies and maybe some other content as well. Who knows? Depends on um, 
yeah, the weather and uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring a fly rod and who knows, I might catch something funny. If that's the case, I'm gonna make a video of it. So, take care of yourself, stay safe, enjoy the weekend, and see you in the next movie. Bye.